Right sideline to Hunt juggled and Butler took it away. On the left find Saunders tries for the finish. His shot is blocked by Edwards, but Butler there to clean up. Hands, this is what they have done well in this early season is get up and down and play in the open floor. Brown lets him do that. Could get ugly. And Butler with the runner finds the glass, and Glenn Miller immediately wants to talk it over. Butler finds Boring on the perimeter. And he returns the pass to Saunders. Down low, Butler. Butler is just, that's the first foul of the night for the Bears. And Butler! Oh, my goodness. And Glenn Miller immediately wants to talk things over, and he is hot. Well, even with a talent differential. And nice little cut off the screen by Ding, and then he sees the opening. One dribble. That's what you like as a coach. Don't dilly-dally with it. You got an opening. One dribble to the rack and put it down. So even he kind of likes it. Good idea by Wood, but poor on the execution. Look at that. A no look. Look at that. Bad That's what I'm Butler talking about. That's exactly what I'm talking about, Butler. 15 minutes left in the ball game. Etheridge starts to go blocked by Butler. I haven't had to mention that very often on UConn possessions tonight. And Butler throws up the three. Well, that's right over to the two. Clock at 10. Saunders feet inside, deflected, and winds up in the hands of Butler. Salik Brown. On the double him. Nice penetration move to set up Butler. Nice penetration. That was the key. Oh, good oh. steal. Karad Butler playing the free safety. Looks for the high screen from Tang. Instead goes the other way. Misses the leaner. Doesn't hit anything, so the clock didn't recycle. But Butler is there. Oh, offensive player's got to bring his man into you. Nice speed. Saunders down low to Butler. And the foul on Williams. And it's his third foul tonight for the Cougars. They're looking inside for Okafor. Great move by Butler who goes behind the back. Can't finish, but Selby cleans up. This is the third meeting of Butler with the steal. Beats Hendrick to the hole. <laughs> He's trying to grab him, but just can't get it done. And finally, the grasp and Karan saying, hey, Check it out. I'm not sure. Lost to Stony Brook on Wednesday in New Hampshire's home opener. UConn will play Stony Brook on December 28th. Karan Butler with the three from the left side. <laughs> Finds Robertson up high. Back to Butler for three. His second three of the night. Colin Donahue had 16 points on opening night against Army. Already with five tonight. And Butler comes right back. Thought about going deep to Butler, but then reconsidered. Brown in traffic. Kick out Butler. He's got four threes. Look, rebounding position by Talik Brown. And he takes it from coast to coast and beats Butler. There's words before this game about how the Huskies can compete. Gets it back in his first field goal. Missing those fouls at the end. So he's had great success with his club teams. Two of the best that have ever been in the game in that area. Well, you just look at what they did with these programs. Butler hanging out and wide open. Good back screening by Connecticut. Drive all the time. Here he comes on the drive. Drive and kick. Butler three on the shot clock. Nice. Wow. And hit the screener. Butler on the slam. Well, that wasn't exactly a pick and roll. That's the reason why Calhoun says that in a minute part of the story in Hartford. It was Saunders. Air ball bailed out by Butler, who on cue. <laughs> oh, it's still a quick release. It's just not accurate tonight. So far, there he's just starting to... Morning. Butler is working the baseline of the ring. And got two. That's where he is. Getting on Shannon Brooks. Pretty good day by Shannon. Butler saw the punt. A stroke three. Showing a little bit of heat, huh? Good individual breakdown ability. That, that's the shot that I think is tough. The pull up jumper. Here, deflected. Here comes Albert Mooring. It's two on one. And the follow by Karan Butler. One handed. Sam Span just hands it away. His ankle, that's why he got hurt. To Lake Brown. Karan Butler. Easy two hand flush. Place the trap. They got out of it that time. Though. Delfico. They beat it. Span got rejected by Karan Butler. By that 
time. You want to see that fire in your team. Let's watch at this end. Here's Butler coming across. Times it. You can see him timing it right there. Beautiful block. Keeps the ball in bounds. And then at the other end, he's talking about that diagonal pass. You got to beat any pressure doing that. Look at Butler. Butler going hard to the goal. The second miss. Here's Butler running the break. Ball for the defense. Laying it up. Two seconds for Connecticut. Down to Butler. Nifty dish. Edmund Saunders laid it up and in. Four points in the first half. Ron Butler. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Driving hard. Banked it in. He's and turned it over so easily. Eight for Del Fico. I'm corrected. Look at a little pull up. Butler, for Butler comes off the baseline. Angle, get ready to help. They do a great job. Here's Karan Butler dishing to Saunders for the layup. Here before the ball was. Cox, a sophomore from Bridgeport, handling Karan Butler. Just laid it in easy. Oh, got to be some promotion going on. We, here we go. Oh, Butler stepping in. Open court. Could be a show. It's Selby. Another pass. Ten assists. Karan Butler. Two, three with the bottom guy and the three coming out far. And Selby with the great backdoor feed to Butler. Full court press and it comes back to a 2-3. Butler into the teeth of the zone to one. Count it. And the foul. Three previous years behind Jake Bosco. Off the inbound. Butler gets the easy shot. Missed it. But cleans up. Selby leads UConn in field goal shooting percentage on the air. Butler with the miss. Inside Selby. Again Selby. And Butler with the putback. Selected nearly stolen by Daniels. And it comes out to Boring, who spins down low, Butler. Oh. Malik Brown, down low. Butler with the one hand, oh, the one-hander with the right, and consecutive double-double. Already has 12 points, and he feeds Brown. He might have a triple-double before the fans a little on the nervous side. Womack, two for five from the floor. The other three is missed inside, and here's Selby. We'll go. Inside 10 on the shot clock. Butler with the rebound and the putback. Fort held previously by Omeka Smith with 185 career three-pointers for the product out of nearby Rocky Hill. Butler with the drive, score it, and the foul. Walk out and you've got to find somebody. Robertson, kick out Butler, right side jumper. Nothing but net, gonna have to get it done. Cross court, Butler, look out! <laughs> Bullet pass off the dribble. Selby to Butler. Oh, for the reverse. <laughs> what a degree of difficulty on that one, Butler. And that's his second, and that's big trouble for the Eagles. Yeah, it really is, because Agby at 6'8", 245, a critical rebounder. That's that look the last time to Butler under the basket. So creative in there with the finish. Fort right away, and you might have picked up an easy one with Butler up ahead. Butler left wing for three. Got it! Karan Butler putting on a show. 19th three-pointer of the season. He leads the Eagles in that department. Butler off the glass. Are you kidding me? No time with that finish. Which broke Mark Jackson's single game record against Tony Brook. Meanwhile, Butler dropping to the hole and jams it down. Nice job by Saunders there. Brown. Breaks his man. Oh. And it's blocked by Emmanuel. And UConn has the lead. How about that? Took the hit and still able to just at home. 53-52. CBS Sports coverage of NCAA men's basketball will continue after this message and a word from your local station. Here's Brown into the front court. You only need a two. You only want to settle deep. Butler all alone. James. How about that? The fouling them before. Here's Brown into the front court. Ross is over to Butler. He's got to get it off. And down. And it's Oh, Amazing. You knew Talik was not going to shoot it, but they're asking the decision. Do you foul him before he goes up and make him shoot the two? And a lot
lot of coaches just want to play good defense as Mike chose to do here. And you can just see, oh my goodness. Look at Dave Leto getting up higher than he did when he played. Second one short. Butler rebound. And stick back. And Cuff just did not react on that. Here's the floor leader for the Panthers. Stuck a big one. Here's Butler with the answer. Plays at the right time, that one. Ron Butler pull up. Good. Both do. Ricardo Greer's got two. Ron Butler as well. Butler behind the screen. Good. Good start for UConn. This 41-34. Butler to shoot for three. Got that. And he's an older guy. He went to Maine Central Institute, 19 going on 20. A big, strong body. And a good look in our King jump shot. This is a back out, and everyone's moving to an open spot. Now, the Connecticut uh, Huskies bang one down. Butler tries to set it up. Now, Butler all of a sudden finds the range. Makes it up. And here is the difference maker. Linehan always after the ball, diving down low, and uh, Ron Butler sees an open gap, and he shoots to the basket and scores. Take it to the basket and dunk over, guys, if you can. Great work down low by Karan Butler. Get missed it. The tip back. Well, he made the tough one. <laughs> missed. He played against him on AEG teach. Or Nice job of playing up. And you see the size. Huskies kick it all the way out to Long. You may see Marcus Barnes sooner than expected. Butler gets inside, and the basket will count as he is bumped. And Edmund Saunders right now is carrying the Huskies. Butler's jumper buries that. Five points for Karan Butler. And in the teams of the past, Kevin Ali, Daniel Marshall, Ray Allen, Jerome Shepard, they would get around 15 looks a game, so they're used to going up and down. That's what Brown off the bench. This is Talik Brown inside to Butler. Tried to go to Wong, got it back, reverses and scores. He won that to Talik Brown. Robertson. Foul called. Butler gets the back that Wembley, I think, is going to pick up the foul. Huskies have it. Brown to Butler. Fade away, Butler, good. Butler gets it back. Works inside. Beautiful drive by Karan Butler. 16 points for him. The defense showing one, three, one. Now they're sitting back two, three. Here is Juan. Goes low. Up and under move by Butler. The foul, I believe, is going to be on Hurd, and Butler will go to the line. Has refused to fold. Butler right at the foul line with a jumper off the glass and good. That's 23 points for Karan Butler. Boy, he has stepped up big time for the Huskies. I'm not sure anybody does. He missed them both. There is life. Nice catch. Good feed. Butler finishes. 25 Here we go. for Karan Butler. It's a Karan Brown, boy. Jim Calhoun wasn't kidding. An intentional foul. Down by 12. In the corner, they needed that one. Karan Butler, most important goal. You got to exercise the judges. Try to get it under 10. Talik Brown with 14 on the shot clock. Hot goal by Butler. He runs through the sale. He's got nine. Talik Brown. Butler. Sullivan cuts him off. And he hits. Deep three. Nova's only going to shoot about 35% from the field and still going to win by pretty good margin. Brown, who have known each other since about the fifth grade, will be covering one another here tonight. Perron Butler, another one of the outstanding new players in this conference, knocks down a jumper. See if that continues. Not a good look. Bad pass by Shaw, taken away by Saunders. He's everywhere here in the second half. Now he finds oh. Butler. How about the big guy running the middle of the floor, rim to rim, and then while the bully. Butler again. He's got 14. This uses those screens well. The timing much better by UConn. Sits down and Selvey up and down. Ball got tipped. Air balled. Rebound. Count it. Butler will get a free throw. So Butler's shot from the top of the arc is good for three. 
scoring, handling the ball right now. Johnny Selby up front. Suleiman Wah. Corner jump from Butler. Counted. And Butler is a name we have not mentioned much. I mentioned early in the game, Mikey had the pitch. I think they need to get some solid action along the front line right there. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, and they attack and Chukov tonight. Selby, 11.7 rebounds off the bench. Right side, Butler, wide open look. You see what happens when they get to that free throw area? It, it, it continues to get the basketball right at the foul line. Providence collapses and then can't recover out to the shooter in time. Good stick by Butler. And a look at the UConn bench. Freshman Scott Hazelton, who's being redshirted this year because. What a good year to be a prior fan. Butler with the runner. No good, gets his own rebound. This time Saunders with the rebound. Finds one inside. Butler with the rebound. And the foul. Flat out wearing him down inside. And you can't out jump Connecticut. You've got to find bodies. Them. Everything's been a challenge shot. And there's Linehan nearly taking it away from Talik Brown, who instead gives to Butler, who gets his own miss. Wow, looked like he might have gotten away with a charge in there. Comes the Huskies on the run. Ron Butler on the outside as they get it in, and Ron Butler, the first year player for Connecticut. And Connecticut jumps out in front two to nothing. 6'10 and get the ball that low in the college and pro game, and they're not as effective as he is. Now Karan Butler, who has found the range early, hits his first two field goal attempts. Going at the point for the freshman to Lee Brown. Good move as Selvi dishes down low, and Karan Butler now has hit three field goals. And it's an 11 to 8 game. Huskies in the lead. To come through the middle of the lane. Huskies with that five game losing streak to Providence, Texas, Miami, Villanova, and St. John's, and finally getting it righted with two wins. Connecticut to watch this game, but the rest of them look to me and hear sound as if they're from Villanova. Butler. Hangs on the rim, he gets the roll. That permeates throughout his team. They do not get rattled. In the lane, Butler with the runner, gets the roll. Good ball moved by the Huskies on this possession. Really have moved the ball all game so far. Butler with the runner, gets his own rebound. Well, Jim talks about what a great talent this kid is. So far, he's showing up big in this game. The Big East in turnover ratio for the season. UConn very well prepared. Oh, Butler takes the handoff from Morey and goes way up in the air. Troy Bell's ability to get to the line at 6-1 is astonishing. <laughs> well, this is pretty astonishing, too. Check this out. That is a one-handed backhand deal. 20 more rebounds for the season than Agby entering this ball game. Those were his first points of guys. Butler with the runner with the right hand by him. Shot clock inside 10 around the Saunders screen. Butler with his seventh rebound and his 12th and 13th points. Type of an offensive arrangement. With Bell out, Harley at 6'5 being asked to defend the quick ground. Butler pull up. He's got 15. Take a lot of off-balance shots, this tech team. Here's Butler, who has yet to score. So much for that. You were saying? Nice and simple. That's the thing. If you're 12 years in the Big East, they are a conference best 63 and 38 on the road. Selby with the miss. Rebound Butler all by himself. Beautiful. Six. One's got four. Robertson's got five. Selby's got four. So as great as Mooring is, he's getting a little help. And you see right there, a little more help. Butler gets it started right away with a good look. Dead last the number of six. Butler pull up in the lane. Oh. Very good. When they get running, they are so dangerous. If you can keep it in a half court game, you got a shot. Of course, they've won two straight from UConn, and that's not easily done. Karan Butler, who we just talked about, lights it up from three point land to open the ball game. Long shots, great long rebounds. He'd be flying to that basketball. Well, we got some equal opportunity three pointers going up. Everybody's taking them. Butler knocks down his second. Huskies lead. Oh, nice move by Moore. Moore got Simmons up, and now Brown airball the three, but there's a follow. Ron Butler. That's the defense. Great defensive play by Moore and getting his hands up. Oh, good luck. Butler. Oh! 
Look out below for Ron Butler. Six on the shot clock. Selby's going to have to take it. Rebound, though, is Butler's. That's just a man among boys in that rebound. Boy. Man, Ron Butler strong. Point lead. The game is up trends, as we said. And look at how the defense is picked up now. Butler. Oh, nice, def nice move on the baseline. His first basket of the second half. He's going to make the last pass, and that's key sometimes for point guards. Karan Butler hitting the face at the end of the first half, having no trouble seeing and shooting to start the second half. Nice quick move to the right by Talik Brown. Humphrey altered the shot. Butler! With a game like this, a degree and a chance for a future and to help others. That's the most heartening part of this stuff. Butler! Good night! To start a little bit of a force there. Juan, the bounce pass to Ron Butler, and there is it. Well, I think back to it now, and I wonder if they really did call a foul on him that last time that he sort of did the same thing where he put out. So his effort has been outstanding. Ties it up at 29. Butler in motion. Here's Butler from 20. Counter. Now Butler spins. Count it. Karan Butler starting to take over. Relax on Sunday. They want to be working on Wednesday and Thursday at least. Karan Butler tries to start quick for the Huskies. Khalid Brown takes the opening. Little strong. Rebound comes out to Butler. McNeil challenged him. Score it with one for Karan. Here the Huskies trail by a half dozen. Butler. All rookie performer is having a great first half. Butler. Keeping the Huskies in the game. Perron has 14. Hard for the committee now to start making decisions based on, you know, just not winning the tourney and being in the mid-major. So there the corners try to trap whenever they can. Nice feed down low to Butler. Nice pass by Juan that time. He looks over the top of that defense. He's getting some good looks. And he's putting up some poor shots. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Underneath, there's a foul and a chance for a three-point play for Butler. Goes with being a head coach at a top Division I school. You know, we saw that last year when Bobby Cummins decided to leave as Butler nails the outside jumper. Once again, South Carolina changes that defense. Connecticut has been pretty content to work the perimeter. Butler got an open look. Yeah. Karan's first field goal of the second half.